After a long search, Austin's new hire to reduce homelessness starts next month. Tonight, KXAN's Jacqueline Powell takes us on an in-depth look at her track record in Orlando, Florida, where she helped reduce the home homeless population by more than half. We have a lot of people doing great things for people experiencing homelessness, but we have to make sure that there is a coordinated plan and that we're all marching together to execute and implement that plan. Austin City Manager Spencer Cronk says that's exactly what he's hired Lori Pampilo Harris to do. As the city's new homeless strategy officer, her goal will be similar to one she's already achieved in a city that needed as much help, if not more, than Austin. Even though Austin had so much success in so many different areas, Orlando was very much that way in 2013, but our leaders struggled every single year with a growing homeless population, and it really was this albatross that uh, we couldn't find solutions to. Andre Bailey that. founded the Central Florida Commission on Homelessness and worked directly with Harris. Florida's numbers show that county's homeless population was around 2,900, only slightly larger than Austin's. In just three years of work, that number dropped by more than 1,700 people. What we found in Orlando is government by itself cannot solve homelessness. You need the business community, you need the faith community, you need advocates, you need the hospitals, everyone at the table. Bailey says Pampilo Harris had a skill for garnering and organizing outside support, and they used a housing first strategy that put people in homes first, then addressed their individual needs. To have big solutions, big ideas, and get big investments. In the end, Bailey says it saved the city nearly $20,000 per homeless person every year. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. Bailey also tells us Pampilo Harris understands the compassionate approach because she was once a homeless young mother herself.